In Tromsø, a small city in the north of Norway, the winters are long and hard. From November until January, the polar night renders the sun invisible, and for 24 hours, there is almost complete darkness. And then there's snow, so thick that it disrupts the day-to-day -day lives of the city's residents. The conditions make things difficult for the local football team too. Tromsø IL, the northernmost top-tier club in the world, have been forced to do things differently since their inception in 1920. Located on the island of Tromsøya, north of the Arctic Circle, the city is connected to mainland Norway by bridges. Inevitably, travelling to games is made more difficult by the remote location. The closest team to Tromsø in the Elite Serien last season was Trondheim-based club Rosenberg BK. And even then, that's a round trip of over 1,400 miles. To drive it would take more than 16 hours. So flying is a necessity, and over a season, it can prove costly. It's also tiring for the players. One of the main challenges of the distance, first and foremost, is the economy, because of long-distance flights and sleeping over. Morten Yeva, head of academy at Tromsø, told Tifo, We spend more time travelling than the rest. Yeva's role takes on added importance at Tromsø. The adverse weather conditions and the isolated location make it harder to attract players, particularly from other countries. Some are reluctant to move somewhere so remote, although Yeva insists attitudes have changed in recent years. I'd say that it was more like that before, he said. Now, probably with the world being more and more connected, most players know that it's not that different and it's only a two-hour, often cheap flight back to their family. Some are simply deterred by the cold. The average temperature during the winter months is below zero and snowfall is common, and the almost constant darkness is easier to cope with for some than others. Because of the longer winter here than in the south of Norway, we have to cancel more training sessions due to snow, added Yeva. We have some indoor fields to train, but they're not full-size pitches suited to 11 a side. Also, the snow has to be removed more than the other stadiums in Norway, so there is more damage to the pitch and more human resources go into maintenance and removing snow from the field and the stands. To avoid constant postponements, an artificial pitch was fitted at the club's Alfheim Stadion in 2005. Underfloor heating was added too, and it became easier to manage heavy snowfall. Despite the unavoidable difficulties they're faced with, Tromsø have never bemoaned their situation. They've adapted, gone about their work professionally, and managed to compete consistently at the top of the Norwegian game. Because of our location, we had to be really curious and open to the rest of the world, Gjevert said. This also made us a bit more innovative and creative. We have the advantage of being curious and open to new ideas. At the same time, you'd think we'd been a bit more hardened over the years, which has made us tougher and braver. But this is not science. I would love it if someone did research in a science project to find out what the actual difference is, mentally and physically. Tromsø have achieved an impressive amount given their clear disadvantages. They won the Norwegian Cup in 86 and 96 and qualified for the group stages of the Europa League in 2016, eventually losing out to Tottenham, Anzi Makatlala and Sheriff Tiraspol. The likes of Chelsea and Galatasaray have also faced ignominious defeat at the Alfheim Stadion the former losing out on the snow-covered pitch in a game played with an orange ball during a blizzard. Things have not gone entirely to plan for Tromsø of late. They finished second from bottom in last year's Elite Serien, unable to avoid relegation and continue their five-year stint in the top flight. Instead, they'll play next season in the second tier, looking for an immediate return. But what is certain is that they won't be deterred by this setback. They've battled the elements, economic hardship, and the challenge of travelling thousands of miles for every away game. Our history is really interesting, says Yeva. The future for this truly unique club should be too.